Hey guys, today we are creating a word search and the best part about it is I'm leaving this template in the description below completely free for you to download. One of my students actually created it. I have an Etsy course that I've been teaching and one of my students made this. So with her permission, I'm sharing it with the world. So thank you for tuning in. Now let's get started. As soon as you click the link to download the template, it's going to pop up and look like this. Click use template and then it's going to populate in your Canva. At that time, you can start typing away if you would like. I'm going to walk you through the process of what I'm doing where I created a black inventors unit study on my blog and now this is an after the fact addition where I'm going to add some word searches. If you need ideas for your word searches, I have a million of them and I'm happy to share them. Just email me. It's sadie at themadmommy.com. Now this is a list of black inventors that I featured in my post. So what I'm doing here while I'm creating this word search is just typing in their name into Google and asking Google, hey, what did this person invent? Some of these I already know, but I actually spelt one of their names wrong and I didn't realize it until I was shooting this video. So I'm glad that I was Googling. Uh, for the record, it's Robert Fleming Jr. He actually has two M's in his name. Uh, what I was reading had one M, but I found out it had two. So I'm fixing that in this post, but I also fix it in my word search. Uh, it's important to make sure that you are accurate when you're putting out information and that you update it quickly if you find a mistake. There were a few different ideas I came up with whenever I was saying, okay, what word searches can I create for this post? One of them is black inventors. One of them is inventions. And then the other one is actually vocabulary words. This is the workbook that is currently at the end of the post. What I'm going to do is combine this with my word searches to make it more of a complete resource. This is kind of like a fill in the blank type thing where the kids look up the inventor and then write a report about them. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the research phase of this is important. Like I said, you want to put out accurate information. If you've already got the information in your head, then just head back over to Canva. We'll get there in just a moment. This is the template. And what I'm going to do is just erase the words over on the side here. I need to make them all capital to match. Decide where you want to put your word. Remember, you can do up, down, diagonal, backwards. What I do is I create the answer sheet first. So whenever I put the words in the puzzle, I change the colors right away so this can become my answer sheet. This is not as fast as using a generator. I'll also link a word search generator below so you can try it out, but I really like this way even though it takes a little bit longer. Some of the words were too long, so I just put them line after line. I don't know if that's something you want to do, but I just kind of wanted to point that out while we're in here. You don't want anything to look squished, so I'm just kind of adjusting things here. You also want to make sure there's a little bit room on the outside as a border for print bleed. If you're not sure how big the border should be, do a test print before you list it or send it anywhere. And if you're in my Etsy course, just post in the group and I can do a test print for you or let you know if it looks like there's enough of a border around the edge. I like doing backwards words and I love that traffic light spelled backwards has fart in it because you know the kids are going to love discovering that. <laughs> it's much easier to highlight these words when you're doing them across. When you do them up and down or diagonal, you have to highlight each letter individually. So I kind of limit how many of those I do. We're going to jump to the end of this just because I already showed you how to do it. I don't want it to go on and on. Let me change this real quick. 
Oh, that's not gonna fit. One thing I love about word searches is when they fake you out though, so I'm leaving that there. Another reason you wanna highlight the letters is because if you don't, you can't really be sure that you included them all without overlapping and taking the wrong letters out. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna hop to the end. While this can be a very tedious process, the template makes it so much easier. And like I said, you can use a word search generator. If you're selling them though, you need to make sure that the word search generator is licensed for that. So it's got to be licensed for commercial use if you want to list it on Etsy. And I really, I haven't found any commercial use word search generators that I absolutely love the look of. So that's why I do it this way. Again, it's not necessarily the fastest, but I do prefer it. All right, so the bottom one is going to be our answer key, which means the top one, I just duplicated it, the top one is going to be our original. So we're gonna go and make all the letters black again. And then go back down to the answer key and put that it is the answer key. <laughs> when you're ready to print, you just go up to download, select PDF print, and then select the pages that you would like to print. For this example, I'm downloading the page three and page four because that's what we just worked on in this video and I want you to see how it looks whenever it's in that form. You can also download as a PNG just make sure that whenever you open it, it's not blurry. You don't want to sell anything that is blurry. This is beautiful. I love it. So whenever you download as a PDF, this is what it's going to look like. How easy is that? You can literally create a hundred of these on different topics. You can use vocabulary words, spelling words. You could do an entire series on inventions. You could do science words, social studies words, math words. Math vocabulary words are actually not as popular as they should be. So you could do church stuff. If you go to church or you're a Sunday school teacher, you could create word searches for your Sunday school class or your Bible study class. Really anything that you like to create you can create a word search for. 